This month ruined the marks 24 years since the genocide that left almost 1 million people dead. Healing is paramount in a society that's not quite moved beyond the horrors of 1994. To ensure the past isn't repeated, Rwanda needs to work towards meaningful political representation for all the country's ethnic groups. There is a model that other countries have adopted that could help it do this. It has been shown that consensus democracy is the best political mechanism to eradicate violent competition for power. This kind of democracy, which is based on a power-sharing model of government, has proven to be effective in the United States, the Netherlands and Switzerland. It also worked in South Africa during the country's transition to democracy. The challenge facing Rwanda is that it's an autocratic regime. The democratic space in the country has shrunk dramatically. Independent thinkers and alternative voices have been silenced. President Paul Kagame has walked in the footsteps of his predecessors by concentrating power in the hands of a tiny political and military elite. Should Rwanda continue his legacy, Kagame could be violently replaced by another autocrat. Experience has shown that a change of guard without deep structural transformation is not sustainable.